Hello there everybody thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. In this video I'd like to share with you what Father Vincent Lampert shared about what happened to the house that was used for the filming of the movie The Conjuring. Now I'm sure a lot of you probably have watched The Conjuring. I just didn't like the ending of the movie but the build up was really good. Anyway, before I share with you what Father Lampert said about the house, as Father Lampert always said in his lectures, it's important to note that demons don't live at a particular address. So it's not like they live in a particular house and it's haunted. They're spiritual entities, so they don't exist in time and space as we understand it. When you watch these ghost hunter shows and they're going into a place that's haunted when in reality, it's the very thing that they're doing in the house that is causing the evil to manifest. So it's not like the demon lives at 666 Mockingbird Lane or whatever, but it's what they're doing that's causing it and then people have a manifestation or they just have a fascination. There was an exorcism that was performed by a priest in Gary, Indiana that got a lot of notoriety a few years ago. And then the people that produced the movie The Conjuring purchased the house where strange things were happening. Well, what began to happen is that people were breaking into the house and doing seances and whatnot because they thought evil lived in the house. But they didn't realize that the things that they were doing, the seance and trying to conjure up the spirits of the dead, is what was causing the evil to manifest. The producers finally had the house torn down just to, to keep everybody away from it.